that's number one. Well, yeah. Caleb Smith, when he smells blood, you get down to that. Down that line, Shane Hanson, we talked about him, lost his great horse a couple of weeks ago, but comes in here. Thomas and Mack wins the first round. Yeah, you know, got on Bird's other horse. This is a great horse, too, and look at that, Angie. That's why this guy's... The tie down roping, Shad Mayfield is the current and reigning world champion. He goes 7-2, he got the start, he got down the rope, he got the finish, and Shad Mayfield may just tear this place up before he's done. Boy, he definitely can. One of the coolest stories, I think, of the night, Justin McKee, you and I talked about it during the entire... Two-time world champion Caleb Smith and his horse Pockets get the win, 7-1. And uh, he is the sentimental favorite because was out with COVID last year. They sent him home after he qualified for the NFR, and now he moves into the top two of the world. His calf got up, took him out of the average. We expected some attitude tonight, about 7.6 seconds. You know, when he hustled so good, watch the end of this right here, right there. Boy, a lot of guys, it would have fell apart. He just kept moving through it and went to go around. He's amazing. Let's talk tie down rope and everybody's been waiting for this guy to break into the winner's circle. Marty Yates has got a lot of go around wins in his career at the national finals. He gets a 7-3 in the tie down rope. Hadn't got a check until then. Feels better now. Standings, Brody Crest not too far behind him. Corey Solomon lightning fast tonight, 7.1. You can see this run set up and you know, Corey's always been right here, the toughest guy on the ground. Knew he had a good chance. And now, boy, solid in that average. He's, uh, his story is not done here. 19 world champion Haven Medjid, your winner tonight with a 7-1 in the tie down roping. Well, by, on the books, he had the very best cap. And in the run, it was the very best run. So good for him. In that average race to keep the heat on Brody Kress and his brother Ryder. Hunter Heron's been stone cold, not tonight. He wins a round. Yeah, Hunter Heron has had enough right here. Got back on his old faithful cap horse and said, I'm going to make it. Had a good cap. Big ride for Brody. And of course, Stetson and Ryder also make money. Yep. Haven mentioned he's got a chance tomorrow to win his second world championship. Isn't it funny how these guys that have an opportunity just kind of step through that door tonight? Haven now he's number one. Well, Caleb Schmidt, when he smells blood, you get down to that last two or three rounds. If he's in the running, he's really hard to beat. You know, that was a good draw right there, but that cap was dying off in front of him and all that pressure to rope that 10 win. If he's got 